Hi guys, I'm Farmer J and I'm doing a video series for you guys. This is my very first episode, so I hope you all will be forgiving uh, if I am not using the technology correctly, um, but I'm really excited to be able to talk to some kids um, through YouTube and hopefully to uh, make your time at home a little bit more exciting and educational uh, right now. And uh, here you go, I'm off to go out to the farmyard to find some animals to talk to. Hi everyone, I just wanted to introduce you to my friend Ina, who is a Jersey cow, and she is gonna help us learn today about cow poop in the digestive system of cows. And this is specifically in response to a question from Lau, who I believe is in Denmark, um, who asked, why cow poo is splatty. So I asked Dinah and she didn't want to be interviewed on camera. Um, so she relayed some important information for me to tell you guys about. So I'm going to go find some cow poop in this field and take some pictures of it and tell you what Ina told me about her digestive system. Okay. So Lau's question was, why is cow poop so slimy and splatty? And as you can see from this beautiful shot, cow poop is indeed both slimy and splatty. Part of that is because of the fact that cows have four stomachs. Um, as you're probably aware, people only have one, um, and because cows have four, they do a lot more digestion than we do. Now this cow patty, which is what you call a pile of cow poop in a field, has been stirred around by chickens and birds because, as you can see, there are little specks of grain still there, and the birds really like to eat them. And you might think that's gross, but the birds like to eat the undigested grain, um, and also they eat any bugs that hatch from the cow poop, which helps the cows. And so here's Ina. And there's my friend Monaco, who uh, is her friend. Uh, and Ina wants to talk about her. She has four stomachs. The first stomach that she has is called her rumen. The rumen is the first chamber of the stomach, stomach, and it helps her digest grass. And as you can see, she's lying in a pile of hay because hay is her favorite food to eat. Hay is dried out grass. So when she eats the grass, we can't digest grass because we don't have a rumen and we don't ferment cellulose which is what is in grass that we can't digest and so this is the reason that humans can't eat grass but cows can. So she eats things it passes into her first stomach the rumen and then it goes into her reticulum and her reticulum is basically a place where a lot of fermentation happens and fermentation is a process that breaks hard things and fibrous things down into softer more digestible uh, material. So by the time it gets to her reticulum, she then coughs it up and she chews her cud. And you can see her chewing right now, and she is just chewing a piece of grass that she just ate. But a lot of times cows will chew their cud, and that's them having a second shot at chewing their food because they don't chew it very well the first time down. Cows don't have any front teeth, and so they can't pick grass in the same way that horses can. So when Monaco here is going to eat, she knows her name, if she's going to eat a piece of grass, she's going to clip it off with her front teeth and then she's going to chew it into a little ball. And that ball is called a bolus and that goes down into her stomach and it actually comes out her back end as poop um, in little balls, just the way that she chewed it. And so because horses are different, they only have one stomach, they're like us, they don't digest things as thoroughly. Uh, Ina then will, uh, she'll swallow her cud material again and then it passes into her third and fourth stomachs, which are called the omasum and the abomasum. And there's more fermentation that happens there. Um, in the second chamber of that process, uh, she makes rennet, which is actually what people use to make cheese. Um, by the time it's gone through all that process, you can imagine it's pretty, pretty liquidy and pretty broken down. She's digested everything she can from it. Uh, she's used it to make her body strong, and then what's left comes out as poop. And it is very slimy, and it is very splatty, uh, and that means she's done a really good job at getting everything she can out of it, even though she still leaves a little bit for the chickens.